all right folks welcome to america truck simulator once again i know it's been a while since i've been in this game but you know work is really consuming my time but nonetheless i am here making another video with a brand new truck that is on the steam workshop it has recently been updated to ats 1.45 and this here we have is the Freightliner FLD it was updated October 15th uh, this is version 2.1 here it does come with a lot of different custom options however I didn't really add too much to it um, just your basic work truck here uh, you see I got the chromed out bumper and the chromed out um, hood fenders or the hood emblem whatever you want to call it uh, so yeah I got chromed out wheels and everything uh, and I'm just hauling just a regular SES General Mills uh, trailer here. Uh, just so you know, this truck is compatible with Z mods uh, engines, so you know you'll be good to go there. Um, this is the faster mining truck. Um, today we're gonna be going from Billings over to Cody, uh, Wyoming. Uh, it's not too far, about um, 145 miles. So uh, this is how the engine sounds. Show you the inside here. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Very well detailed. I like it. Again, we're only going 140 something miles down the road, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going here. At least the parking brake should be ready to go. Make sure ain't nobody coming. I apologize in advance if I forget any of my controls. It's been a long right. time since I played this game. So I may forget, may forget the controls. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Oh, what now? So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Turn right. I am doing okay myself here. I'm sure we don't have to turn on me here. Um, didn't have to work too much today. Um, I had to take off a little early, so I didn't do my split shift that I usually do uh, for my bus driving job. So I only worked, only worked five hours today, 11.30 to like 4.30, and uh, you know, came home, and you know, pretty much I'm enjoying, you know, enjoying the rest of the night. Uh, I'm actually going to take advantage of this night and actually go to bed on time or early, earlier than when I'm used to. So. Normally I get home. I don't. I don't get into bed until like almost one o'clock. Right. You know, by the time I can settle in for the night, you know, daughter, you know, calm down, turn and right. grind it down, or whatever. Um, by the time I do all of that, it's like it's literally like one o'clock in the morning. So I'm actually gonna take advantage of this. You know, getting off early, get plenty, plenty of sleep in. Go ahead and knock this um, Thursday out tomorrow. Uh, knock this Thursday out at work. Considering that this is my last work week of this schedule. So we did, uh, we did bids all of last month pretty much. And so now my new schedule will kick in Monday. So when Monday hits, I won't be doing no more splits. Uh, the earliest I'll be going in is like around, I think like 2.20 in the afternoon. And the latest I'll be going in is like 4.20. So. Definitely excited about that where I have to do more splits. Which it definitely helps out because uh like these splits now, like they're killing me. Like I kid you not, like having to get up every day at 1045 in the morning and not even that. Actually I'm getting up at like 10 in the morning. But then I'm not getting home until like midnight most days. So, this is definitely be a different pace. Uh, 
usually, usually, as of right now, you know, I take my daughter to school, whatnot. So, when I do take her to school, by the time I get back at 9 in the morning, I have maybe like an hour to sleep before I'm like back up again, you know, to, to go to work. So, now when I drop her off, um, you know, to get back here at 9 o'clock. Well, I could at least have three, four hours of sleep before I go to work. So, definitely excited about that. So, make sure ain't nobody coming over here. Oh, he's gonna stop for me. Oh, I thought he was gonna stop. He kept going. Probably because I took too long. outside view. I'm very excited about this new schedule that's coming up here. Um, when I did my bid, it's pretty much what it is that you bid every three months. So we started bidding in September for the changes in this month, and our next our next bid will be in December for January. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, you know, with every new bid, I move further up the seniority just a little bit. Not too much, maybe a couple of spots or whatnot. Uh, but I was particularly worried about this bid because this is my first time I was able to bid. And usually, you know, when it's your first time around bidding, you're new on the block, what have you, you get the worst of the worst. That's pretty much what comes down to the worst of the worst when it comes to the bus routes you pick, the schedule you pick. So I was going through my bid, and I'm going to try to explain this best way I can. So our, when we do our bidding process, it's broken down into groups. Uh, there's like currently, I'm like, my seniority number is like 337. Most it goes up to right now currently is like 345 right now. So they got groups. Like they'll have group one that might be seniority number. Um, off here. So for example, um, I like that little Ferris wheel thing right Keep there. Left. So anyway, um, so what it is is that they might have like group one, for example, and they'll have, uh, you know, seniority number zero through, let's say, 60, zero through 60, that's your seniority number you can bid on these dates, and they'll have 61 through, let's say, 120 bid on this date and then so on and so forth until it gets to the last group. Well I fell in the last group. So the last group for example I'm gonna say they'll say last group group whatever will be 
seniority number 321 360. Okay. Uh, which that's where I fell in. I fell in number 337. So, what that means is that that person that's, for example, seniority number 321, they're at the top of their group. So, they only have to bid one round. Likely, whatever they bid, they're going to get it. Because they don't move on to group two or group three until group one has completed their bids. Um, you know, once they complete it, they'll move on to group two, move on to group three, you know, and then group two completes, so on and so forth. So when they get to group seven, all the other groups have already completed their bid. So if you're in group seven where they start at 321. If you're seniority number 321, then right. that means that After you only have to be in one round. Go straight. Because there is nobody um, go straight. there's nobody heading to the bid. So whatever route you pick that's open, you are gonna get it because uh, there's nobody ahead of you picking. So because I was three, because I was three thirty-seven, do I go there? Uh, I guess I gotta go around. I think. No, I go right here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make this turn. You know what? I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, I think I screwed up. I definitely screwed up. <laughs> I was supposed to have turned right there, I think. I do not know how to back this thing up. At all. So I'm just going to go slow. Until I can get this thing to go right there. And I'm just going to go. Since I was number 337, that means hypothetically, oh, right. I did not see right, right here. Because I was 337, that means that there were 16 other people ahead of me. Wow, where are these people coming from right now? There you go. I think I, did, I, think I was too far over. Wow. But yeah, so... Because I was number 337 and the starting number for the group was 321, I had to bid 16 different times for my new bid. So I'm picking, like, one thing I said I didn't want, I didn't want any buses that were free buses, like circulators or stuff like that. I didn't want none of that. I did not want extra board because the one with circulators is a free bus. So that means anybody can ride the bus. Can't deny anybody. Even if they, even if you know, even if you know they're gonna get on your bus and ride all day, you cannot deny it. So I don't. So I didn't want that. Plus, with us, when you get the circulators on Sundays, you have to work ten hours. There's like no way around that. It is like mandatory. 10 hours. That's just the way it is because they quit running so early on Sundays. So pretty much you start in the morning, you're likely going to end it at night. I didn't want that. So, the next That's thing strange. was extra board. Of course, with extra board, you will be doing something different every day. You might get lucky do the same thing two days in a row, but normally you're going to be doing something different every day. Okay, so I didn't want that either. Because that means you have to really be good at knowing your routes. You have to really be good at knowing your routes. You have to really be trained on every route out there. Because you have to know these routes on the fly. And I don't know every route like that to be 
taking on something such as extra money. You know, because one day they might have the Blue Express, and the next day you might be doing a free bus. And if you've never been trained on any of those, you won't know what to do. So I didn't want that either. Two, the days off are usually never the same. Well, let me take that back. With this bid, it is. So I could have had a PM or an AM extra board slot that had Tuesdays and Wednesdays off. I will always get those days off, of course, but I'd be at the mercy of doing whatever they have. I didn't want to go through that and whatnot. So my first flight, um, my first. 12 picks were paid routes, meaning routes that people have to pay when they board a bus. The next two, 13 and 14, were free buses. These were buses that, um, these were buses that were, let me say, the most consistent. What I mean by that, these were buses that mostly out of five days a week, I was doing the same thing. Mostly. So I picked those two. And then the last two picks, 15 to 16, I ended up going with extra money. Okay. The big results came out very quickly, like two days later. I ended up getting pick number 12, which was the last paid revenue route on my pitch. Like, I was literally one pick away from having to either A, do orbits, or B, do extra work. And only one person that was above me could have picked that last revenue route. And I would have ended up doing the free route or possibly extra work. Keep so, right. After 50 yards, turn right. Wasn't very thrilled about that. I mean, I'm, well, I'm sorry. I don't want to say wasn't thrilled because. Turn right. I definitely was thrilled about it because I'm like, I'm like, man, I was scared because I thought for sure I was going to be doing something I didn't want to do this time around. And because I'll admit, I got lucky with this first bid for me just starting. Had Saturday and Sundays off. I was doing the same thing every day. You couldn't, you couldn't beat it. You could not beat it. Oh, man. Trying to turn on the lights here. Got the button. Two, 
ain't nobody, man, woman, child, is going to hold on the bus underneath it for eight miles. For one, the bus sits extremely low. Two, can you imagine how hot it gets up under here? And three, if it was a child, man, you would see blood splattered all down the road. You would see streaks of blood just going down the road. But, despite me knowing I didn't run a child over, I was still naturally paranoid that I could have ran a child over. So I was very upset about that. This lady was probably high. It's where I dropped her off at. It's, it's an area known for people getting high ran at the bus stop. So I picked her up from the bus stop where people get high at and dropped her off at another stop where people get high at. So I wasn't really surprised about it. But it did have to shook for a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Because naturally I was nervous. Naturally I was worried that hey maybe I did, you know, hit somebody. I know I did it. I did, maybe I did make a mistake, you know. Like, man, if I did, I know I would have. I would have noticed. I think. I hope. So, uh, nonetheless, didn't end up being true. Didn't run over nobody. She said, "Well, I need your bus number. I'm gonna call it in." Ma'am, you do what you have to do. But I know. I ain't run over nobody. I don't care what you say. I know I did. I couldn't. Have. I would have felt it. Even if it was a little infant. A one year old, six month old infant. I would have felt it. And plus, anyway, if it was a six month old, they should be in a stroll with anyone. With that being said, I know. Dang. I ain't running the bio. No idea. But again, the happy paranoid and the happy shook. I was literally like, that literally set my mood for the whole day. I was pissed. I was pissed to the max about that. It's still in. Because passion called that in. They would have had a whole entourage on my bus, wasting their time just to discover it's not true. I would have probably been placed on some kind of leave until they would have figured out, oh, this really didn't happen. Go straight. You know? Uh, so, I get stuff like that all the time on these buses. You know, it's... it's it's here nor there. You know, I just... I go in, I do what I have to do. And then that's it. I got perfect attendance to this point so far. I started June 28th. Um, other than... Me not showing up for... The second half of my split. But technically, it's still the perfect attendance. Still. So, uh, it is what it is, I guess. Over, eventually, we're not going to let me. Go straight. Hotel 6.
should be right here. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah. Oh, at Walmart. I wait for this car to go so I can go. Hopefully nobody else tried to pull in. It's a lot of traffic. that idiot that was just gonna keep on going anyway all right so I could place it anywhere mess this up, right? So we get one opportunity at this. And I did, still screwed it up. Good thing I don't have to go back. Alright, that does it folks for this video. This is the Freightliner FLB will be linking it in the description box below. If you haven't already, please hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.